And there you have it, the closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange. U.S. stocks navigated choppy territory today following mixed earnings reports and a surprise rate hike from the European Central Bank. The Dow Jones ended the day flat, up about 150 points. The S&P 500 ended the day up just under 1 percent. The Nasdaq is up around 1.3 percent. Joining us for more on this is Melissa Armo. She is the founder and owner of the educational firm The Stock Swoosh. Thanks so much for being with us. So, you know, it's interesting. In past weeks, we've talked a lot about sort of volatility. Tell us what was driving the market, though, today. Well, really, the big driver for the overall market today, and especially the S&P, was Tesla. Tesla had earnings last night, and the stock rallied a lot. Of course, everyone knows Tesla, mm -hmm. and the thing is that the earnings were good. That's one of the stocks that's actually held up pretty good through the last six and a half months of the selling we've had in the market this year. That stock is still in an uptrend. People are buying Teslas again. Electric cars are a big thing right now. So I think that is the real reason we had the rally today, because we didn't have good economic data this morning. We saw higher than expected unemployment claims. So you would think that the market would have sold off today. But Tesla is a big part of the S&P, and it helped the market move up today. People are thinking about those gas prices. Yeah. Do you foresee President Biden's positive COVID test having any impact on the market this week? And in which direction? Well, we saw when that news first came out, it was around lunchtime today. We did see about a 10 minute quick sell off that was news driven. But the White House was quick to say that they were going to have a press conference and at two o'clock today it was unscheduled. And then they talked about it. And then I think the market calmed down. I think with the proper care, he's going to be fine. So the market will cool off about it. And I don't see that that's going to affect the market in the next coming days. The big thing that's really going to affect the market tomorrow to close out the week to see if we're going to sustain this rally we've had for the last three days is that Twitter earnings are out tomorrow morning. Mm. If for some reason Twitter tanks on the earnings tomorrow morning, which is before the bell, the market could sell off tomorrow on an otherwise pretty good week for the market, considering the last couple of months. If the earnings are good on Twitter and Twitter's up tomorrow, we could see a sustained rally into the close. And this would probably be one of the best weeks the market's seen in the, in the last couple of weeks. But We've got rate meetings coming up with the Fed in the next couple of days. That's the end of next week. There's so many things here that I think people are still concerned about the volatility. This may not be the end of the sell-off, and I think people need to realize that. Well, Melissa, you mentioned a moment ago unemployment claims. So a new labor report shows 251,000 unemployment applications were filed in the week ending July 16th. Now, that's up 7,000 from the previous week. What effect, if any, did this report have on the market? Well, we were down a little bit to start the day. Even though we rallied into the close, we were down slightly this morning. I think the problem is, again, like if you're making a graph chart, you want to see the numbers go down for unemployment. You don't ever want to see them go up. Remember, we had COVID, and then the numbers skyrocketed. And then we started to come back through that recovery, which took us into the 2021, when the market had a very bullish year. And every single week, those claims we're going down, 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 down. Now, the last couple of weeks consecutively, we've seen the claims go up. So this is the highest that we've seen them go up since the last eight months, I'd say. So that's not really a good sign uh, that we may start to trickle off again back down because people are concerned about a recession. Some people think we are in a recession. You know, that's up to the economist to decide what the reality is. But if the Fed thinks that we are in a recession or going into recession and sees these numbers, they could raise rates one point in the next couple of days. And I think that will be shocking to people considering the rate hike that we just had last month. All right. Melissa Armo, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.